How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have from the Star Wars Vintage Collection, Paz Vizsla from The Mandalorian. As seen, I don't know if his costume changes between Season 1, 2, or 3. Uh, so I'm just going to say this is, you know, Paz Vizsla in general. On the back of the box, you have this really awesome art from the diorama that they have on the front and then uh, kind of a breakdown on what equipment Paz comes with. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, hesitate. I've been impatiently, patiently waiting for this guy for quite a while. Just barely got him in uh, the mail. So let's let's go ahead and get this guy cracked open so we can we can go ahead and take a look at him. Maybe. Oh. There we go. Nothing else in the box except for the little warnings stating, you know, choking hazards and everything like that. We're going to go ahead and grip some paper here. Got his jetpack with ammo belt. His big old machine gun or laser rifle, I guess. Got shield, knife, and then blast effects. And then we have Paz himself. Oh, there we go. I kind of like how they, they wrapped his legs in paper to, I think, kind of help prevent some, some paint rub a little bit. There you have it. There is the Paz Vizsla figure. Uh, he is a deluxe. I think this is, what, like the fifth deluxe figure that they've done uh, for the, the Star Wars Vintage Collection here of recent. So he does have a double ball joint neck. Really nice mid-chest swivel. As well as... Oh! Wow! So they, they connected the shoulder pads to the lower arm. Or to the, the bicep. So you can definitely, you know... Try your best to, to get your arms to go vertical. Or horizontal. I mean, to get that nice little T-pose. But the shoulder pads do still kind of interfere just a little bit. Uh, the elbow joints... Not too bad. I thought they were going to be a little bit more restricted than that with the size and the bulk of his armor. And then he does have, it appears, the new updated uh, hip joints with a mid-thigh swivel. Single joint knee, but it has kind of that hidden joint that we've come to expect with some of these deluxe figures. And then rocker ankles. And then the, the ankle guard is kind of a separate little piece there too. So that is super cool. I'm really digging the difference in, in Paz's helmet. You know, as seen in the movie, has kind of that little shovel scoop right there is what I'm going to call that. And he does have, so the backpack can connect there. The big old gun. Let's see. So it connects to the backpack. Like so. I really dig that. How the gun can connect to the backpack so he's not always carrying it. Then, so the ammo fits to the bottom like that. Let's see. I don't remember exactly how he holds it in the show. So let's consult the box here real quick. Okay, so the handle. Okay, there we go. So the handle itself is horizontal, like so. Then that means this arm comes up and holds on to it, like so. Oh, I didn't even go over the wrist. So he does have wrist rockers, one horizontal and one vertical. Uh, this one is the vertical, while this one is the, the horizontal. So you can go ahead and get that wrist there rocked just a little bit. And then get him to hold on to his gun. Boom, 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 boom. Then he does have the, the blast effect that fits onto the end of his barrel. Just like that. <laughs> oh. So that is awesome. I'm really digging that. Just all the way around. He does have a secondary handle. Right there. Let's see if we can't. Okay, we'll unplug that. Let's see if we can't go ahead and get that 
Let's see, where was the peg? Hmm. So it shows that it'll, it will stay pegged and then plug the gun itself into the, the pack, but the hose doesn't rotate. So it kind of awkwardly fits into there. It does add a little bit of tension into that, so I'm not sure how much I dig that. Then his knife fits into the leg sheath. Like so, and he does that vibro knife. I dig that vibro knife. Shows it a couple times throughout the show where he uses it. Then he does also have the the nice little Mando shield right there, the for the fighting. I'm really digging that. I like how that plugs into his his arm guard. And then I think that's his flamethrower, right? I think he uses the flamethrower a couple times, just like Din Djarin does. This heavy trooper. I'm really, really digging him. Then he does also have the flame attachments. Attaches on. Ooh, that snaps right in there. Nice. Oh, wow. So it does not want to attach too well. The flames with the, the guns attached. Because the gun does interfere a little bit there with the flame. So that's interesting. One thing that I did see uh, on the internets, let's take a look at this. So here is just the, the regular um, Deathwatch Trooper. Let's take a look at this. Aha! It does. So for if you ever wanted to customize a, a different Mando holding the heavy gun, the jet, the backpack pegs are universal. So you can definitely get just a standard Death Watch Mando holding on to the heavy gun. Just like so. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I see, I see hopefully some customizers picking up on that. So that way we can see uh, a whole new slew of heavy Mandos. Or at least the heavy gun with some different mandos. Oh, okay. So yeah, the uh, the ammo belt actually rotates in the the base of the jetpack. So when you get it done up, you can actually rotate that around to make it fit just a little bit better. So there he is. There is the Paz Vizsla from Star Wars Vintage Collection Mandalorian. Uh, I'm super excited to get this figure. I like just how much larger of a Mando figure he is. So he has height, weight, everything on, you know, even this Death Watch figure. I also have a, an Axe Wolves just right here. Oh, ha! Axe Wolves and Paz getting into it. <laughs> oh, that was such a good part of that final season, of that season three. I dug it a lot. But there you have it, folks. There is the Paz Vizsla Vintage Collection from Mandalorian. Right there, I'm going to go ahead and say hit that like if you haven't, or hit that like, smash that follow if you haven't, and thank you for watching.